Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. Well, I am just outside of Little Rock, Arkansas, off of I-40. Yep, I did the Walmart thing last night. This parking lot was utterly, completely full last night. I didn't take any shots of it, but there were RVs all the way down each lane and trucks. I don't know where the people that shopped here, where they had even a place to park hardly. I was cringing. I, uh, most of the Walmarts don't allow the big rig parking, but this one does. I'm glad they let RVs park here. Had a good place to let the babies walk and run last night. Morning, Wolfpack. Hey, what's going on, man? Tucker, I just uh, released the video from yesterday, the one that you had that crack about to Arkansas. Uh, that's getting some mixed reviews. What are they saying? Well, uh, the uh, chicken farmer redneck thing, people say that somebody might get offended. Well, who cares if somebody gets offended? What happens if someone's offended? Well, that's, uh, well, they're, they're just offended. So, well, you know, we can't be political on the channel, Tucker. Who's being political? I was just, I was just telling facts. That's still, well, there's not a lot of facts in politics, but Tucker, I don't have the answer to everything. You can say that again. Let me move this seat back. I'm so tall, I have to set it back. There's that martini. Hey, everybody. Hey, baby May May, you look cold. Look what I can do. <laughs> you so purties. You so purties. Let me get these things now. Ah, no condensation. Because I didn't run my heater last night. It was cold. You should have run it. Well, I ran it a little while. Let's get rolling. There's gonna be a lot of trucks up here you guys can see. This place is a big old parking lot last night. Almost everybody's gone. It was uh, quite incredible really. I've never seen that many vehicles in a Walmart parking lot. Let's get out of here. This young man. Well, Arkansas has tons and tons of semi trucks. It's very flat. I'm about 15 miles from Little Rock. No big trees, really, I've seen. But it's flat. 213 a gallon for unleaded. 284 diesel. I put in 25 this morning to top off my tank, but I didn't fill it all the way, so I can't give you guys a accurate. Pardon my language. Can't give you guys an accurate reading on my fuel mileage this morning. Look at the new trucks. New trucks, new trucks, new trucks. pulled in here to this rest area I kept driving and driving and driving looking for one pulled over an exit right up here and hung out for a little bit and then drove up the road a quarter mile here's a nice rest area wouldn't you know it that's how it works 
I guess I could have checked on my GPS, but I didn't. Well, we have now made Oklahoma here on I-40. I got a little bit of wind here. We're at the uh, visitor center. Real nice parking, very nice facilities. I got a cup of coffee, used the bathroom. I took a little bit of a nap, fixing to head on down the road. Tucker, we have got out of Arkansas. We left Arkansas? Yep. And, um, I just read some comments that everybody was say, sending saying that uh, shouldn't be making fun of uh, chicken farmers and rednecks in, in Arkansas. Um, yeah, we was just kind of fooling kind of around. Well, what people don't know, Tucker, is that um, I grew up on a chicken farm. Uh, my grandpa had a chicken farm. My aunt had a chicken farm. Uh, my dad. And uh, I don't know. I think I'm a redneck too. What do you think, Tuck? Uh, chances are pretty good. Do all rednecks have talking dogs or just me? I don't know. Some people understand dogs. Some people don't. Hmm. Baby May Mays, you sure are pretty. It's just, yeah. I know y'all are tired of riding. Y'all do so good. Got a little bit of news for These you. These videos are quite current that I'm, I'm releasing. Um, when I had the, when I got the flu, uh, I was down and out for about, uh, six days and I didn't have enough backed up for that. So my videos are kind of current. There's a reason I'm telling you this. Yeah. The wind was kind of bad. So I got in here on this side. Tucker, what are you going to do? A big old white dog will whoop your butt. Uh -uh. I, I just want to be friends. Well, Tucker, that dog might not want to be friends with you. What is that, a Bichon? Well, you can't growl. You can't growl at dogs when you're trying to be friends with them, Tucker. It doesn't work that way. Well, you're not a dog. You don't know how it works. Well, I have three dogs, but you're not a dog. Okay, point taken. Okay. Well, then you're going to talk about some news? Oh, yeah. So I'm traveling down the road, and I get an email from Amazon. And they have terminated my Amazon affiliate store. And it says they don't have to give me a reason why. They're just doing it. Now, I haven't had time to research it. I just got the email 30 minutes ago. I've been through, you know, several emotions about it. Um, I have heard rumors from other people that they were going to close down the whole affiliate program. Um, if you have ordered from my Amazon affiliate store, this video is very current. You may have time to cancel your order and perhaps put it under another uh, person that has an affiliate program. Let them get the commission. Uh, they also told me that uh, they were not paying me for any commissions whatsoever. Uh, nothing since my store has been in business. None. Um... I want to keep positive vibe on my channel, I keep positive vibe on my Facebook. Um, yes, I was very much counting on this income on my travels, but uh, I plan ahead. I have a backup to a backup to a backup, but uh, I'm very disappointed. A lot of hard work went into it, and what, what's even worse is that so many of you guys thought enough of me tons of you guys to order through my channel because I know that you wanted to you're shopping there anyway but you wanted to help out the channel and support the channel and uh, your heart was in the right place and uh, it's very humbling and I thank you so much for it I, I hope that you didn't order extra because it would benefit me in some way because Amazon's not holding up their end of the deal. But, um, okay. 
this is a positive channel, positive vibes only. I'm not going to dwell on it. I've got a backup plan. I'm going to be just fine. But uh, if you did purchase through my store, and you should have this video out in 12 hours. Maybe you have enough time to cancel your order and put it under another affiliate and let them get the credit. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm not going to be upset about it. I've got almost 30 years of uh, being self-employed. I've always earned my own way. Um, it's not how I do business, dealing with these big online companies, how they do business. It's not how I did business. But uh, I guess if I did business the way they did or do, I'd be big and wildly successful like them. But... Uh, I've always been able to go to bed with a clear conscience, knowing that uh, I run my business in a uh, professional, honest manner. Okay, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. My future's out this windshield, and it ain't up that back rearview camera. So, we're going this way. Y'all come with me. Well, I'm here at Love's in Oklahoma. Getting uh, gas for 209 a gallon. Temperature's dropping pretty good. They say it's going to be like mid 20s tonight. Still got about three, four hours, well, about three hours of driving left. So I'm going to fill up, and get on down the road. I hope uh, this video didn't come across as too neg negative. I'm just sharing my life and what's going on. So, in real life, you get the good and the bad. It takes a lot to get old cameraman Kevin down. This makes me stronger. So, okay, thank you everybody for watching. See you again soon.